Um, but basically, um, if you look at it, you know, the first column is my first year with Pamper Chef. Um, and I joined in March of 2016, uh, 2010, right here. And I was actually six months pregnant with my first child. And really was just, um, I don't know what I was looking for, something like this. Um, and I joined and you see, I did my like 1250. Um, but if you look at the numbers, like they weren't that great, okay? So like, you know, 780, 622, 615. So all of you, uh, most of you probably had better numbers when you started than I did um, myself. Um, and in September, no, in October of 2010, I promoted to director, but I will tell you that I probably didn't work hard for it. It was mostly Donna that like did launch parties for my, you know, one new or one or two new team members and recruited everyone, right? Um, so I really didn't work hard for it, I would say. Um, and you see like my personal sales, not that great, right? Most of you sell more than I did in my first year. So 10,000 in sales and like six new team members. They're not, you know, very fantastic numbers. So um, the following year, I decided to go back to work full time. Um, so I did Pampered Chef alongside my full time job. I think I did like on average, maybe four parties a month, it seems like, right? So nothing great. Um, so I did Pampered Chef alongside my full time job and had a, you know, almost one year old in daycare. And that's actually the first year I went to a conference and got to cross the stage as well. But if you look, it's like, I wasn't a good director, <laughs> okay? It was like green every third month, maybe, right? Just like sneaking in there to not lose title. So really, it was just, you know, I was working full time and I was just doing it on the side. However, I still went, I always made sure I went to every recipe night, every training that was at Donna Laney's house that I did not want to miss. It was always on my calendar, but it was just, you know, it was just floating. I don't know what I was doing. I was just, you know, working full time. Um, so right around the end of 2011 is when I got pregnant again. Um, and I kept working full time. And then in 2012, if you look right here, um, in May, you know, I had my girl, I had my second child. I still kept working full time and I just want you guys to see the numbers, right? So you can look 900 in sales, 1500 in sales, you know, so, but as you see every year, my sales went up, right? So if you just stick to it and learn, you will get better. Okay. Um, but there's always going to be down months, you know, I mean, you know, $900 months in 2012, like that's not great. Right. That's like, that was one show. I did one show. Yay. Awesome director. Right. I was, um, so at the end of this year, um, at the end of 2013, uh, 2012 and the beginning of 2013 is when, um, we moved to Korea, right? So at that point, that's when I decided that I did not want to work full time. Okay. Because if you look at it, I was making, I made 21, I sold like $21,000. Um, and I made like 6,000 bucks with bonuses, like seven, $8,000. Um, and I wasn't making much more of my full-time job because half my income was going to daycare. I used to pay $900 a month in daycare and it just really wasn't worth it. 40 hours a week for like $900, you know, for a thousand dollars a month and the other 900 went into daycare. It just, it was like silly, right? It was like, why don't you just work harder with Pamper Chef instead of working for someone else? Um, so 2013, we moved. Um, and I never went back to work full time and really decided to work my Pamper Chef business and take over Korea. However, when I got to Korea, some of you might have known this, but some of you don't. I did not want to recruit. The reason was it was a very small base and I didn't want competition, right? I didn't want other people in my territory. So I told Donna and Lady that and she didn't want to hear that. So she was like, you know, well, you're not seeing the big picture. You, you know, you can... You should always recruit people, no matter where you are. You should always grow your team because you never know, you know, who your next 
next rock store is going to be, where are these people going to move, people come and go. Um, and it's the truth. You know, if I think about it, where I live now, I live in a really, really small town. We just got our second light. Um, Casey Barbarito is a director in the same town as I am, but we still have plenty of business because people come and go. Um, there's, you know, every 30 miles around you in a 30 miles radius, 30 minute radius, um, there's all kinds of people that don't know about you or being for chef yet. So don't ever stop recruiting. So I'm just so happy <laughs> that Donna said, you know, no, she said, no, you have to recruit. And I listened to her. But anyways, um, so that's when you can see like my sales were going up and they were going up consistently. And then I went on summer vacation. I didn't do nothing. I did nothing. $200, right? Um, so I just took a break, right? I knew I was going away for the summer and I just took a break. But anyways, but you can start seeing that the numbers were going up, right? 1250 or higher, 3000 4000 it was starting to become a consistent business. It didn't happen overnight, but it was from the time that I did, decided I was not gonna work for somebody else. Um, and I was really working hard on two shows a week. You can see it, nine shows, nine shows, 11 shows. And that's why we're always so adamant about eight shows a month, because there's no way you're doing eight cooking shows and you're not getting any sales, right? So you can see my sales went up every year. Um, that I was with Pampered Chef. And maybe one day we'll put in a nice graphic or something. So um, the following year is really when my business started taking off. Um, I promoted to advanced director and I didn't develop my director. It was totally Donna that did it. Um, you know, one of my directors that's not with me anymore and then Lori Bedwell promoted um, and I didn't do it. Okay, so that's why we all need help and we always need someone else to tell us, not always, but a lot of us need support and that's what we're here for. We're here to teach you how to do it so eventually you can do it on your own. But I never promoted any of my people, um, not in 2014, probably not even in 2015. It was all Donna and you know her support and Zoom and training calls and all that stuff. Um, so anyway, so 2014, we promoted to an advanced, advanced director team and it was just always pretty consistent in sales if you look at it, right? I mean, anywhere, you know, from 12 to 3,000, like 25, I would say on average. Um, and then it just, you know, that's when I earned my first trip. Um, and I just knew, you know, it was from the moment that I decided I was not going to work for someone else, but I still wanted to bring in extra income not that i needed to you know we were doing fine but it wasn't there wasn't any freedom right there was all the bills got paid and everything got covered but there wasn't any fun money there wasn't any freedom of let's go here let's go buy that that wasn't in the budget so when i returned and that's where most of you know my story is when i returned to the u.s um in 2014 beginning of 2015 you can see like January, 2015, I did two shows, obviously, because I just moved here. I didn't plan very well, but I knew that this was going to be it. I knew that although I got back to the States, there was no way I was going to go work back to work full time, right? Because in 2014, I about made the same money. So when we moved here, you can see it takes a little bit of time, right? $800 in sales, $1,200 in sales, three parties, two parties. That is nothing to be proud of, right? So, so nothing to be nothing to oh, oh, myself. myself. Yeah, you're good. You're okay. Good. Okay. I hear myself I hear twice. Myself Is that twice. just me? That's just you. Anybody else? No. Okay. No, I can hear you. Donna, if you mute, you mute, maybe, maybe. Okay. Okay. I don't know what it was. It's gone now. So anyway, so when I moved to Korea, um, I had, you know, Still, two small children, one, both of them, not at school, um, maybe preschool back then. I don't even know. But I was determined to be successful. I was like, I'm back in the States. I can attend conference. I can go to trainings. Um, I can really, you know, take my time in New York and grow, right? So I wasn't going to leave any open 
open doors. I wanted to take advantage of everything. And it took some time. As you can see, if you look at the numbers, it took some time, right? It took actually a couple months. I would probably say a good three to four months until I started having shows, um, consistent shows. And how did I get them all? Ben events. all right? Some sucked, some were great. Um, so if you guys are doing vendor events and you're like, oh, I've done five of them and maybe got like one or two shells, just keep doing it. It's the only way to get you out there with new people that you don't know. And you never know that one party, I mean, I can track parties and say that one party I got from the slow vendor event, you know, got me director Casey, got me director Jody, right? You just never know where your paths are going to lead you. So, um, and that's also, it was, I believe it was, no, that was next year. Never mind. So anyway, so basically it was really about consistency, really six, eight shows at least, right? Um, and you can see here, this is actually a funny turning point in my business is where things exploded. It was October, 2015. I wanted to earn level three um, for the incentive trips, but I needed like, it was like 14,000 coins a month. And I had like, three months left to do it. And I looked at my husband, I said, look, if you want to be in the Cove in Atlantis, like I need you to watch the kids like all the time. All right. I need as many shows as I can get on my books to get all the sales that I needed. But of course, you know, I did 17 shows, probably the most I've ever done. I think 17 shows, right. Um, that fed me for a long time. That probably fed me for the next six months. I got enough trip points, but I also met enough people to recruit more people, right? The more shows you have, the more recruits you're going to have, you're going to get. So, um, and that's when we promoted right here, October or September, you know, September to October is when we promoted to a senior director team. So, but if you look at these sales, I know I'm not the best top seller and some of you guys sell way more than me, but it's about you know, being intentional and really saying, hey, I'm going to earn this trip no matter what. Maybe I'm so far away, but man, if I did 15 shows this month, I could do it and really work in your butt off to get the shows that you need. Um, and then, you know, last year, 2016 is um, in March is when I went to the lead and lead plus, which for some of you that I knew, it's, it's a training program to support directors and upper level directors um, to teach them the consistency of eight shows, submitting eight shows, holding eight shows, not, you know, holding eight shows and submitting six, really submitting eight shows um, and two recruits a month. And when I went to that seminar, I was just happy being a senior director. I was just happy where I was. Um, but they really inspired me to be more, right? To why not be an executive director. Why not be the best you can be? Um, and I felt really weird in the room. There was lots of popular people, like we all know, you know, Sharon Zell and all those people. And I really like, I'm like, what am I doing here? Like these people are all rock stars. They're all selling like crazy. They're recruiting like crazy. Like, why am I even here? Um, but it wasn't until like the last 10 minutes of Lee Plus where I was like, I really realized that, you know, it's totally up to us to decide what we want and we've all been there you've all promoted to director so and you all know that from the moment that you decided you were going to achieve a certain goal you worked as hard as you could to get there and the puzzle pieces started falling in place um and that's when i came home and i said all right we're gonna go for it we're going to go for executive and i was like so many directors away but you know we just worked hard and i did a lot of shows and i had the support of donna and everyone else um, to push us to get us there. But if you guys just look at these income, um, how the income like grew year after year, it's like the first number right here, you can all have that. And it won't have to take you seven years. It could take you two years, a year, depending on how many shows you wanna do. But you guys can have all that. You guys can have, um, you can have what we have. You can have that income. You can have the trips. You can have a team, right? A lot of times it's not really about the income, but man, it's so fun to have a team that's so supportive and awesome, right? Like, I love these guys. And, you know, that's like one of the best things, like Lori said, seeing other people succeed and pushing them to their limits and having them cross that big bridge that just showed up and they don't know how to get over it, you know, 
that's like the best thing. Um, and then obviously, you know, last month we promoted to a senior executive director team and it's really, you know, sometimes you guys are like, Oh, well, you know, I don't know my why, or I don't know why I'm doing this. And that's hard. If you don't have that, it's hard. And my why, you know, when I went to lead plus right here was like, you know what, my husband's going to retire in four years. And if I don't get my act together, just, I mean, you know, he'll support us. He'll get some kind of job um, to, you know, make probably the same amount of money he was making back then. But I was like, you know what, my husband just sacrificed 20 years in the military. I really want to work my business really hard the next four years. So when he does get out, he can do whatever he wants. He can, you know, whatever he wants to do. I don't care as long as he doesn't sit at home in his tidy whities But I, I'm able to support my family. I'm able to, you know, be the strong mom I want to be. Um, I'm able to give my family, <laughs> I'm going to cry, <laughs> oh, financial freedom. I'm done. <laughs> So that's why I don't talk. <laughs> you okay? Are you okay? Time up. <laughs> very, very exciting. Actually, let me just step in here for a minute. And um, I can't tell you that emotion there. I, I feel it. I live it. And it's pretty wonderful to see you this it's real. Um, but I do want to say on a on a note, side note, I didn't want to interrupt you while you were talking. And you said, Oh, I didn't promote any of these directors. We did. We promoted them together, side by side. And that is what Claudia has been doing with many of you right now. As you feel like, oh, I don't know how to do it, but she just did it with Lori and with Carrie, just like I taught her. And that is to work with these folks side by side. You can't just say, okay, you got to leave it here, promote this director, because it won't work. But Claudia was there every step of the way, um, participating in every single aspect and filling in and, and bringing me in when she felt like she needed help. And that's what you have that most teams in Tampa Chapter. You have leaders that are 100% committed to helping you with those issues and things. So you're going to say there is no way that I promoted your director <laughs> because you have proven that not only did you promote them, but you learned from that and look how many you promoted. So it makes me so proud to know that I had anything to do in training you to promote directors. Now I guess I need to train myself because holy moly, I wish I could do what you do. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. Uh, financial independence and your why, your why makes you cry. There's just no getting away from it. And until you have a why that's that strong, that's what's driving Claudia Bazaar right there. That's what drives her and her family and being able to pro provide that. I know like she's flying her, her mom and dad in um, next month or in a couple weeks. I can barely hear you. You're like okay. really low. Okay. So, um, I know Claudia is flying her parents in um, in a couple weeks and having the financial freedom to do that. You know, I know some of you, I know Claire Dolger just took her mother on a dream cruise. Um, having the time, having a business that supports that and having the money and the funds to do that. That's what is so amazing about the business that you have. So um, anyway, I, um, We'll see. Oh, Claudia's back. So any party words, Claudia, or do you want us to move on? Don, I think we're losing you. Oh, you're losing me? That's bad. I know my internet is terrible. <laughs> 